Hey, 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 what's going on, Casey? It ain't as hard as it seems, and I understand when you don't understand something, everything is hard, and no doubt I'm the same way, okay? The first thing you want to do is uh, just come up on Google, or you can go to this website address here, okay? Uh, surviving the gig, X32 edit. If you Google that, it's going to bring you right to this page. This is absolutely one of the best articles I've ever seen that deal with the X32 edit program. And it will go in depth to the, you know, 10th degree. And it's going to explain what everything does on this program. And don't get overwhelmed by it, okay? There's a lot of information here. But all we're concerned with is panning to our mix buses. Okay, that's going to go to our in-ear monitors, all right? But this is where you need to start. You need to come up here and read this article. You know, give it a day, read it again. You know, read it until you can come up here and understand what all this means up here, okay? Because this is in the mixer view right now, and we're going to look at that right now in X32 edit, okay? Now, here we go, X32 edit. Now, look, we are in the mixer view up here at the top left. And all this information, okay, this is showing us, of course, that is the EQ right there. And this is our gate above the EQ. Okay, see, when we click on that, it brings us right to this gate. So if we go back to the mixer view and we come down here, then this is our compression. Okay, as soon as we click on it, there we go, right there to the dynamics. We're dead into the compression. Okay, so let's go back to mixer. Now, what I've done is I've simply created two mix buses. In-ear monitor one left, in-ear monitor one right. This is how you pan your buses. You see that? All I'm doing is grabbing this right here in the mixer view. And I'm panning this all the way to the left. Let me get my little mousey over here. There we go. Now, once you do that, you've got you. You know, you've got your two uh, mix buses here. So uh, right mouse click, name it, put the color to it. As soon as you do that, it's going to come here. From there, you would come to your channel. This is your, your stereo link. As you can see right now, they're not linked. I'm going to link them back together. Watch right here. Watch what happens here and watch what happens over here on the right hand side. I'm going to link it. It's going to ask me if I want to. I'm going to say yes. And there is the link left and right here. And here is the link symbol over here to the right. Okay. Now, there was something I wanted to say at this point, and it is totally past my mind. Okay. So at this point, now that we've created our mix bosses, we're going to come up to routing and the uh, out one through 16. As you can see right here, that is my in-ear monitor one left, in-ear monitor one right. I'm going to simply put my cursor on that mix bus, right mouse click it, and I want to set this to pre-fader plus mute. Okay? And just like that. And there's a reason for that. Now that it's pre-fader, it doesn't matter how much I move these faders right here. It is not going to affect the signal going into the in-ear monitor. The last thing you want is to have this signal and somebody by mistake raise this up. Because if you have, you know, uh, high dollar in-ear monitors or even low dollar and you have your earpieces custom fitted, uh, you could absolutely take a chance on causing hearing damage. Okay, so you want those pre-fader. Pre-fader means before it gets to this fader. Okay, that's what that means. So the way we're going to add these channels to this mix bus is we're simply going to come over here to the right and we're going to click on either one of these. Okay, it doesn't matter. They're linked together. And then we're going to come back up to our channels and now look at how this is highlighted green. It's highlighted green because we colored this mix bus green. 
Okay? So at this point, you simply come up here and you put how much of that signal you want to go in to that bus. Okay? And this is where you're going to control that volume at. Remember, we said we, we can't control it from the uh, bus fader because we made this pre-fader. Okay, so we control that by how much of this signal right here we're going to put into that bus. At this point, once you have this set up, okay, we're going to come and just click off of this again. Now you're saying, okay, we've got our mix bus set up. We've got one panned hard left, and we've got number two hard right. And now I remember what I wanted to tell you. This right here, a mix bus one, is going to come out of your XLR output one. Mix bus two is going to come out of your XLR output two. When you hook up your in ear monitor, you would put the left channel on output number one, and you would put the right channel on output number two. Now, at this time, when you come up here, this is your same panning area. Right now, I've got that uh, kick going hard left. Okay? So it's only going to come through this channel into this mix bus into the left side of the mix bus. In other words, mix bus one. Anything that is panned to the right, okay, here, the snare, the floor tom, the tom two, anything panned to the right will only go into mix bus number two because we have that mix bus panned hard right, okay? So if we come up here now and we look at our sins, there it is. You'll see there is no number two because we have these linked together. See, it's only mis uh, mix bus number one. And as you can see, it is panned all the way over to the right. Okay? If we come back in our mixture view, this is what this is representing right here. That is all the way to the right. Okay? So now let's look at our meters. As you can see, these meters are jumping, number one and two. These are our outputs, our XLR outputs. That is mix bus number one, and that is mix bus number two. Now, I'm going to mute mix bus number one, the left channel, and watch what happens. You see, all these signals down here that were being sent to mix bus number one is no longer going through. So if I unmute those and then mute mix bus number two, as you can see, the signal's coming in, which would be the left side, but there's nothing coming in on the right side. Okay, now I'm going to take the uh, base and I'm simply going to pan it back to zero. Okay, now it's going to come into your left and your right channel, the same signal strength. So if we look at our meters now, now if I mute one and I mute two, it'll still not come through, but I have not separated it on either channel. In other words, I have not panned it hard left. I have not panned it hard right. And that's the thing with this. How much of that kick drum, because this is also going to affect up here to your mains. Okay, as you can see, we've got it coming through the, the main stereo. It would be coming through the main hard left. So I'm doing this as an extreme uh, to show you. Because normally, if you're going to run or you're playing somewhere, you probably want these over somewhere about, well, you know, it's so hard for me to say because I'm not in your band, and I'm not there, and I'm not listening to that uh, in-ear monitor. But uh, very seldom do you just pant everything 100% hard left and right. This is something that you're going to have to play with, okay? I hope this explained it to you. It's It's... There is your panning controls, okay, all the way through here. You can do any channel you want to like that, and your mix buses are no different whatsoever. Okay, channel, where we go, mixer. All right, right here, same thing. So once you learn 
one thing. You will learn this on every single channel. Once you learn one channel strip, it's the same for every other channel strip. Okay? Read that article. Go up there to survive in the gig. And it's going to help out tremendously. All right? Take care. God bless. And we are out of here.